Uh, well, friends, uh, it's my honor to welcome Ayushi. She scored eight in speaking. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Fine, welcome. Uh, I'm going to interview you so that uh, everybody comes to know of what the questions were and how you answered them and how you scored eight. Fine? Are you ready for the interview? Yes. Good luck. What's your name? My name is Ayushi Gupta. Where are you from? I'm from Grenal, which is equal distance from the capital city Delhi and state capital Chandigarh. Can you tell me something about Karnal? Uh, well, Karnal is a hub of research centers. We have NDRI, which is the second largest uh, research center in Asia. Also, we have many tourist attractions like Haveli, Karan Lake, and it is also named after uh, Lord Karna, and it has also a very uh, beautiful historical background. That's great. Would you like to stay in Karnal in future also? Yes, sir. I would like to stay in Karnal as it is my birthplace and I love the city. That's amazing. Now, let's begin. Uh, let's talk about travel. Uh, do you enjoy traveling? Well, yes, sir. I love traveling and I have been to many places and it's my dream to travel the world. Good. Uh, have you done much traveling? Well, yes, sir. I have been to a number of places. Uh, many of uh, pilgrimage places I have been to, like Ujjain, Tirupati, and also I have been to Goa and Bombay. Okay. Uh, do you think it is better to travel alone or uh, with other people? Well, sir, I think to enjoy the trip, we need more people and I think it is very amazing if uh, we are accompanied with our friends and family. Good. Uh, where would you like to travel in the future? Well, sir, if it is a short uh, day vacation, then I would like to go to Parliament House. I would learn, like to learn about the place and the, because uh, in that place, all the rules and regulations are formed and our country is basically moving from that place. So I would like to go there and if I get a long day holiday, uh, long holiday, then I would like to go to South Africa uh, to visit the National Wildlife Sanctuary yes. and also um, the birthplace of Nelson Mandela. Wonderful. Now here you have Q card and you'll be given approximately one minute. You can go through. Finally, let's begin. Yeah. Your cue card is describe a child you know and you should say uh, who this child is and how often you see him or her, how old this child is and what he or she is like and explain what you feel about this child. Please do it. Uh, well sir, I love children and I love playing with them. Uh, when we play with them, we get uh, nostalgic and we remember of our old childhood days. And uh, I have, uh, I there is a daughter of my sister, my niece. She is a brilliant child. She is very intelligent. Although she is only four years of age, but she has a uh, she has a learning power like an adult. She remembers all the things which her mother told her. She visits us on her vacations, mm -hmm. uh, like in December or in J uh, July end. And it is amazing to play with her and to uh, communicate with her. Also, she is uh, studying in an English medium school. So she had good communication uh, skills and she had a good command over English language. Uh, even she forced me to talk to her in English because she has so much keen interest in learning the language. She loved learning new words. Also, I noticed that she grabs the words very easily. Uh, she really likes dancing and reading books. Uh, she always gives me a book to uh, dictate it to her and she listens to the story very well. Also, <clears throat> the child has a very amazing learning power. Uh, I'll give an example of that. 
uh, her mother told her that water is very good for her skin. So whenever she used to come down to our place, she used to say that, uh, will you please give me a glass of water because my mother said that it is very good for her health. For her health. So she's an amazing child and I love playing with her and I love to go, her, go out with her in the park. And also as she uh, likes learning things, I tell her more, more and more things about uh, which, which will be helpful to her in the future. And also, her mother is also very motivating. She always sends her in uh, co-curricular activities and she performs very well in all of them. Fine. Let's move on to part three, that is discursive part. Let's talk about relationships between parents and children. How much time do children spend with their parents in your country? Uh, well, sir, usually children stay at home and, and parents are the first teachers. So they spend most of their time with the children and uh, children they spend their time with parents. Good. Uh, do you think uh, this much time is enough? Well sir, I think yes, but uh, some the trend is changing day by day. Uh, some uh, some parents they want to be free from their children, so they send their children in co-curricular activities more and they spend less time with them. Good. Now how important do you think spending time together is for the relationships between parents and children and why? Well, sir, it is very important to spend with, uh, time with parents because parents can teach us very important things of our life which will uh, not only help in our studies but in life also. Uh, so I think it is very important that a parent and a child spend time together. Wonderful. Uh, have relationships between parents and children changed in recent years? Well, yes sir, the relations are changing day by day because uh, children, they are more involved into their friend circle and parents, they also want freedom from their children. But altogether, the parents, those who are concerned about their children, they spend time with them. Fine. Let's talk about children's uh, free time activities. What are the most popular free time activities with children today? Well, sir, there are many activities like outdoor games, cricket and... Um, Badminton also. Uh, many students also spend their time playing video games and uh, mobile based games. Good. Uh, do you think uh, the free time activities that children do today are good for their health? Well, yes sir. The activities which they do, uh, children these days are very concerned about their health and they want to be fit. As they are the backbone of our uh, backbone of our society, mm -hmm. they need to be fit and uh, they need to be active. Many students, they uh, focus their time on uh, enhancing their health. That's great. The last one, uh, how do you think children's activities will change in the future? Well sir, I think uh, the activities will change because uh, the students they are more concerned and they are more uh, inclined towards technological based things like they like to play uh, computer games uh, so this will affect their health if they will not go out they will not play uh, their health will be harmed and in future there is more chances of obesity and uh, health based diseases good enough that's the end of your speaking session thank you thank you sir have a good day now friends uh, you just now were witness to the interview of ayushi she scored eight in speaking and I would say that it's an amazing score. Congratulations. That's good. That's brilliant. <laughs>